Recording in progress. I'm so pleased that you're taking the time to join us today. This session is part of our See You at Home virtual programming series. My name is Olivia Picciarelli and I work in alumni relations here at Concordia. Ah, oh, I'm sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. Um, the day before was extremely exhausting and like I don't know I didn't do a lot but meeting new people and you know doing stuff is always kind of it's always kind of hard on your energy and with like the filming and stuff you know editing staying up late all of those things anyhow long story short um, I didn't upload yesterday I'm sorry um, if you push the bell you will get a notification um, every time I upload a video, which I guess is like nice if you don't want to check every day and then find out like I didn't upload. So click the bell and subscribe that you avoid these issues. I'm getting ready now. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection One of the reasons why I absolutely wanted to move to a town like a big city um, was because that's where young, excited, passionate and ambitious people are to find and you know for, for like to achieve big things you gotta team up with some really smart and um, really awesome and driven driven that's the most important thing people um, and you know yesterday was a really nice day because I think yesterday I was able to connect with such an incredible person it's a really great day today it's like hot but it's not as humid as it has been the last couple of days. Anyhow, um, so we met up yesterday, we talked a bit about film, the industry, and you know, our ambitions in that industry, our ambitions for life, all of those things that you talk about. <laughs> and um, it turned out that we were both super excited to actually start making movies here in Montreal. Check out this. <laughs> And yeah, just like that we started to think and he's really into screenwriting and like conceptualizing and stuff and came up with an idea. We also start, um, we also did some location scouting and checked out um, a spot, did some test shots already, all within like three or four hours. Um, you can see the results, if you, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that right now. On my Instagram channel you can see the results with like the final grading and stuff of our test shots and I'll meet him later um, and we'll meet him later today so you'll probably get to know him too I think he's not going to be afraid to you know say like one or two words about himself on camera <laughs> And the reason why we are going to town right now is pretty simple. I have to go to school. I have an appointment booked to, you know, get my um, student ID card printed, or I don't know if they'll print them or just, you know, register me. But yeah, so I'm doing that first, and then I have to talk to like a person of the international students office because I have like gazillion, like gazillion questions on on certain things, um, which I have to check with them. I'm not quite sure actually if I'll get one, but I'll see. Yeah, sure. Do you hear me? That was Joshua, another friend, and he's from Salt Spring Island. We'll meet him too later in, in the day. Um, yeah, he's such a nice guy. I'm super excited to meet him. We've been like calling and talking, and he gave me so many advice on, on like what to do in Montreal and like with the big sea bikes, that was actually his suggestion. So, incredible guy. So excited to meet him later. <laughs> And there's the Concordia C again. So now we just gotta find the right building. I think it is here. 
and I'm like just on time. There's like one minute until my appointment. Holy. I've booked my appointment online in advance and once you get to the school building you basically just line up and they take your photo. You basically just have to bring your student number and then you also just have to bring your passport or something similar. After that I had to wait for a little bit until I got my appointment, which eventually I got called for. 401, two, station, three. So that look took way longer than expected, but I figured everything out, got all of my questions answered, which is nice. I'm done with my meeting. I've changed um, some more casual clothes again and I'm meeting up with um, Joshua right now. I'm already late and boy, it's crazy today. We gotta leave, we gotta leave. And while I'm commuting to the Bixie bike, I mean, I already gave you kind of an introduction to Yashua, so I'm not going to talk about that uh, much more. I wanted to talk a little bit about the language thing here, because you might not be from Montreal and might be wondering. So while my university is going to be English, which is good, and the official language is like both French and English, people really just talk French here. Like, I'd say like 80, 90% of the people that I've met intuitively or just like on default speak French which is it helps me to push myself out of the comfort zone and you know actually speak French but it's also challenging Out of the question, should we sit back there? Should we go outside?
what a nice camera store man this was insane but this the was prices scary. were crazy it was uh, very scary <laughs> but they had the sony fx6 and like all the fancy stuff <laughs> That works really good. Holy. I bought a little bit when we are outside. Welcome to Poulet Rouge, the best fast food in Montreal. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is supposed to be the best fast food. <laughs> Let's check. Is that yours? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know it was my little bit. This is so good. It's the best place in Montreal. Thank you so much for showing it to me. Oh, thank you, bro. It's nice. Oh. So now we're going to his apartment and talking about the script that he's been working on. We were developing like an idea yesterday um, and now we're talking about the script. Yeah, that's going to happen next. <laughs> so we have the sauna. Oh man, <laughs> come on. This is like all included in his apartment. This is so nice. The swimming pool looked really nice, but there were people in there, so I was not going to film it. <laughs> going up to the apartment and getting some work done. Are we going to the... Uh, no. We're not going to the apartment, we're going to the... What the? <laughs> We're going to the rooftop. What is Just it like? Some, uh, it's just a terrace. Uh, few people. <laughs> 69 points. You can do it. It's like almost 12, 11, 51. Um, super, super productive evening. It's fun and like just exciting to see how fast you can move with a project when you're like working with like super passionate people. Um, That's yeah. cute. That's cute. It's true though. It's really true. Um, you get to move so fast. We went through the entire script. We did changes. We corrected things. Um, all of that, he wrote like a really brilliant script. It's going to be super cool. Stay tuned for the movie. Um, we made like a to-do list with all of the things that we still have to do um, in order to be able to shoot that movie that we're planning to shoot. And he is, um, Anis is going to work on the script tomorrow and I'll start making connections and building like connections with like people that will be able to help us. Start to organize things like find ways to get props and all of those things. Um, so yeah, that's going to be tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be like an office work day, focused and productive and everything. Um, but for now we're done. I have to go home, edit the vlog. Um, I owe you that one today because <laughs> you didn't get one yesterday. And that's it from me for today. Any last words? Well, one uh, second, you're not in, now you're in focus. Okay, okay. guys, this movie, is going to be the step stepping stone for future endeavors. 
with Mr. Philip. He's a great filmmaker, great cinematographer, and stay and tuned. You write awesome scripts, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night. Bonne nuit. <laughs>